Eric, thank you so much for your time. So wonderful to talk to you. Uh, congratulations on this, Inside the Rain. It really surprised me. It was such a great little film. So much going on. And I wanted to know what it was when you were approached with the script. Aside from Monty, we'll talk about him in a minute. What really caught your eye immediately? Well, it's a subject that we all have to start dealing with. And we haven't dealt with the subject. Uh, the, 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 the fact that psychotropics are three out of five people are on them is amazing. Yeah. And uh, we have to understand why and we, and we have to understand what they do. And this is a great film to explore that. And when I, and when, and when I was offered my role, it was just plain fun. So, uh, of course, I jumped on board, happy to get on board. But once I was on board and I hung out with Aaron Fisher for a while and I realized it was a really important subject. And we need to get it out there. Yeah. And even though I had fun, I worked today, you know, uh, I realized he's making a movie that matters and that I should help him talk about it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you have worked with so many directors, you probably can't even count them all on your fingers and your toes. <laughs> but here is this young guy, Aaron, who has never made a film before. Um, I thought he did an extraordinary job. What was your experience like working with him, as, as, especially as a first time director? Right, Aaron is a bit of a genius. Aaron is um, very personal mm -hmm. in that everything matters. Yeah. And if you if you treat it with the same respect that he feels for it, you're going to meet in a wonderful place, and uh, that's that's how I approach the uh, the work with Aaron. And Aaron Aaron is uh, if you're kind to Aaron, Aaron is very kind, and if you're if you're confused by Aaron, Aaron gets confused. Right. So you so you ha have to be very honest with Aaron. And once you are, it's a great relationship. I enjoy him so much. Yeah, I wanted to know how much he, he kind of relied on you. And then there's also, you know, Rosie Perez. The two of you have been around for a little while in the business and you have experience. And, um, I, and I'm sure you brought great wisdom to this project. Was there any time where he came to you and said, like, Eric, I need help or I need your advice? Or did you just give it to him? No, uh, I, I, went, I, went, I went out of my way to let him know that I like to be told what to do and why. And so he did tell me what to do and why. And, I, <laughs> and uh, uh, he, uh, he, he said, do you know these guys? I said, I know lots of them. Okay, G give me all the kind cliches. Yeah. And uh, so I did. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, let's talk about this guy, Monty Pennington. He is a, I don't know, what I call him a sleazebag producer? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit so like he's not a bad person he's just doing what he needs to do to get his job done <laughs> i've had hundreds of these bosses and i've had about two dozen monty's yeah and i just put them all in one and they're not bad guys right most of them don't don't even take themselves that seriously they have humor but every once in a while you run across one who's very serious but you know monty was was uh I evolved Monty into being, uh, he understands what he is, he understands what he isn't. Can we work together? Let's find out. You know, that kind of guy. Yeah, you, it looked like, you, you know, I know you only, I think you spent, what, a day doing this, this project? But it looked like you had a lot of fun. Well, I have fun every day. I'm yeah. with like guys. I get to work. So I have fun every day of my career which is great. And we always love to see everything that you do. You, um, like I said, I, we go way back. I mean, I'll never forget. You know how sometimes when you sit in a theater and you watch a movie and even 20 years, 25 years later, you remember exactly where you were and what you loved about that film. And for me, it's the Pope of Greenwich Village. I will never forget seeing you, like how that movie stuck with me. And the other one was Star 80, both. Like films that I remember what theater I went to, where, you know, do you have that kind of experience sometimes, even looking back at some of your old films? I have had those, yes, not over me, but over other people, yes, I have those, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm so proud that you that, that you feel that way over Star 80, because yeah. it was Bob Lassie's last film, and I worship him. Yeah. Even, even before I knew him, I worshiped him, and then I worked with him, and then I really worshiped him. He was, 
it's an overused and abused word, but he was a genius. Oh, yeah. W once you work with a genius, you know you're not one, first of all, but you also know they're in their own complete hemisphere, their own world, their own place that you can't really get to. You, 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 you can only allow them to share it with you. It's right. so big. And, uh, uh, and I just did what he told me and how he told me to do it. And, yeah, uh, what a thrill to work with him. Because I was going to ask you, did you get to see the series that Sam Rockwell um, played, Bob Fosse? It was done a couple, of, I guess, over just over a year ago. I did, yeah. It was brilliant. What, what was your take on that, especially from somebody who has worked with Bob Fosse? I really enjoyed it. And once, once you knew Bob Fosse personally, you, uh, there, was, there was never enough. Uh, anybody who ever, you know, portrayed him could never do enough because there was so much to him. Yeah. But, uh, he was wonderful in it though, wasn't he? Oh, I, yeah. extraordinary. They both were. I, I, I was riveted by that series. Yeah. Well, you know what? Anything Ryan Murphy puts his fingers on, Listen, you gotta you gotta get on a Ryan Murphy project. His stuff is he's, he's phenomenal, that's for sure. Call him for me. I will do that. I right after this interview, we're we're I'm getting off the phone. I'm calling Ryan. Check out his new series, Hollywood, that starts on May 1st on Netflix. I promise you, you will not get off your butt for the whole seven episodes. Riveting. Wow. Riveting. Um I want to ask you too, you have uh, three very talented children, you know, one's a musician, one has a pie shop, and then of course there's the great Emma, who was just actually in Toronto a couple years ago shooting Little Italy, and I, you know, she's just so talented and, and fabulous. I want to know if you ever sat her down and said, don't do this, don't go into the business. <laughs> Quite the opposite. Uh, I, go, I go out of my way, all three children, to, uh, to never give my opinion. Yeah. Unless they ask. And only one has ever asked me one time over something very small. And I gave it. And he said, okay, thanks. And it, it, was, it was not a big deal. But they don't ask my opinion. Uh, so uh, I don't give it. Uh, yeah. But it, anything anybody wants to accomplish, I'm behind it. Yeah. That's my job. Yeah, as a dad and as, uh, as just being there for them. That's all, you, that's all you can do is be there for your kids. That, that is for sure. So what are we, we going to see next now that we've got Inside the Rain? Uh, here in Canada, we can get that on Amazon. Everybody can just pull it up. Uh, but what do we, I know you have like, things that were going to go, and then, of course, the pandemic hit. But do we have things to look forward to from you? Well, we've had 21 cancellations. Oh. A show called interrogation that I think is uh, CBS All Access. CBS All okay. Access. Yeah, that's good. That, that's all we have right this second. Do you, do you like doing series work as opposed to film work? What do you, do you have a preference? Like there's you such know, a difference, I think. You know, there's, there's not to me as an actor. And, and, uh, and especially since we lost film and we're, and we're onto HD and everything moves much faster, it's all the same. It's all the same beast. And uh, uh, I love it fast. I love it fast and furious and rap. Okay, let's go again. <laughs> I just love that. I, Get, I, I'm so lucky to love what I do and yeah. I love it every day. Well, we love watching you. And, and again, I just want to thank you for your time and congratulate you on your performance in Inside the Rain. And just lastly, what are you hoping, you know, for people who watch it, what, what are you hoping that they would take from it? Just entertainment and fun, simple as that. Yeah. Nothing complicated. No, nope, nothing complicated about it at all. Eric, thank you so much for your time. The best to you and your family. Stay healthy, stay well. And when this is all over, come see us again in Toronto, okay? I would love to. Yeah, we uh, can't wait for that. Yes, you and your wife for sure. Yeah, you guys need to come and visit us. And um, I'll, I'll take you out for a little tour and a coffee. How's that sound? Right. Love it. The I'm going to hold you to it. Oh, I, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. Thank you so much. Lovely to see you both. Wow. Thank you. Give it now where to find us. Thank you. I do. Thank you. Thanks Bye. for your time. Bye-bye.